Here is five things you should take from 2023 into 2024 to be a successful game developer. And we are gonna learn it by reading the article here. But before that, make sure to comment and like five highlights about 2023 and 2024 for the game industry. Yeah, damn, I messed it up. Video game industry. There we go. Written by Tavrox here. Let's give him a clap, maybe even two. Let's go. I like to make a yearly recap and wanted to share my key insights with you. Let's start. Sounds lovely. Let's go. Okay, 50% chat. This was written by ChatGP. What do we need to remember from 2023? Number one, we saw the rise of small games such as Vampire Survivors. Diversity between game development is always nice. It provides more options for indie game studios. Very strange of writing. It's like the sentences are not connected at all. But yeah, let's try to separate it a little bit. But mostly agree with these points. We saw a lot of really successful small games. I think there is a actually genuinely good advice here. It may be worthwhile to work on a very small game, see if there is a potential. If people like it, keep developing it. And of course, diversity in game dev is nice. But not for you if you want to make money. You want to be a unicorn. Indie multiplayer becomes an important genre with a small team capable of making tens of millions with less than 30 300k budget. So like, I mean, as an indie developer, you can make a game with a zero budget, right? The only budget is your time, which is a budget, but it's not quite the money you have to spend there, as except those hundred dollars you have to pay to Steam to publish the game there. Uh, I suppose, yeah, bit, uh, bit something game, right? The uh, MMO, uh, Battle Royale, bet, not Battle Royale, Battlefield-like game uh, was released, which was a very small game. I think we had more multiplayer indie games. That may be not a bad point. We actually do see a lot of indie dev uh, multiplayer games lately. Maybe something to keep an eye on. Number three. We all got fed up with Unity and it's freaking a lot of time. Load. Okay, this is very strange writing. Okay, AI, 9 out of 10. Uh, yep, yeah, and either way, yep, yeah, we are, we definitely got make that. I don't know if executives are really at fault, you never really know where the fault is coming from, but, uh, yeah, definitely people are very much fed up with Unity. Uh, Steam kept doing good things, good work, and it's the devil of our indie industry. I wish they had competition, Epic should really step up their game. Epic Launcher is not very good and Steam needs competition. Competition is always good. Uh, just imagine if there was Steam for movies, comic books, I mean that's Netflix, right? Steam Deck was insanely popular among gamers, providing there is still space for a new hardware. There is always space for new hardware. It just needs to provide more value than whatever you are using. AI souls were a source of great conflict and philosophical questions. Uh, we didn't have enough debate about the powerful tools and the responsibility behind it. Actually, there was a lot of debate, sometimes very annoying and shouting debate. Either way, yes, that's something we're gonna keep on talking about forever. All right, let's prepare. This is what we have been waiting for. Hot takes for 2024. Number one, small games with load games will flow the game store. I think it means like fill the game stores. Very true, very likely, but it's already the thing, right? We already see more games released than you have ever chance of playing. Indie game developers follow trends a lot. Uh, that's true. Not just indie developers, everyone. All developers. Too many indies become obsessed with short-term development for maximizing gains for the better or worst of it. I'm one of them. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. It's too many of them, but I'm also one of them. That does not sound like a good statement there. Well, yeah, sure. I don't think trends are always worthwhile following, but you can learn a lot from trends. And you can incorporate part of trends and move it uh, move it into something more interesting. Like, you can look Vampire Survivors, what it does. Like, okay, endless gameplay, you pick up items, blah, blah. Can you make this interesting? Can you make a game like that that's... Uh, much cooler and that incorporates all of this with like better graphics or some other mechanics on top of that. Look at trends as a source of inspiration, not a source of something you copy. Indie multiplayer will continue to shine as people are accustomed to playing with friends on Discord, blah blah blah. That's probably true. I would assume that multiplayer games will keep getting more and more popular. I mean, like, that's already quite a quite quite a lot of popularity there, but yeah. Number three, at least one AA game studio the switch to Godot and dig a new path for the years ahead. I think we already have seen like really significant release from Godot. It was uh, the Cassette Beasts was the game. That was a uh, fairly big production game released at Godot. So that already kind of happened. Uh, developers will realize that AI like VR applies only to a small number of use cases. The rest is futile and over hard to catch. And that's completely wrong. That's completely wrong. I couldn't disagree more. I don't even know how why would you come to that conclusion. I don't think you quite understand what AI means. Image generation may be very sure, very small use cases, but uh, machine learning algorithms, content generation, and uh, all that we get with LLMs 
it, it's gonna just keep skyrocketing. You will see it everywhere if you don't already. Uh, oh no, VR applies only to small number of use cases. Yeah, exactly. AI is gadget. No, no, I disagree. I think AI is gonna be everywhere. We will, we will be very, very surprised if AI. I will be very surprised if AI is not gonna end up being everywhere. Console marketplace gets overcrowded with games. Their owners don't upgrade fast enough to stores and discover that they become a third kernel. I don't think that's true. No, that's quite unlikely. And these predictions are not very good. The consoles marketplaces are very cardy. Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo for the matter, especially Nintendo, don't let just anyone go uh, there. You actually have to fulfill quite a lot of requirements to be able to release on consoles like that. I, I doubt that that's quite an issue. Do we have any reasonable comments? Uh, no. Okay, that wasn't actually very good. We can hear some tips that were reasonable, some of them uh, not very good. Console marketplace, I think the point of console marketplace just comes from not but the author here not understanding how consoles work. Uh, with AI, I am very certain that, uh, I'm very certain, maybe not a great word, but I'm very confident that uh, we will see machine learning algorithms used everywhere. And also the thing is that we already do. A lot of, for example, upscaling, right? When you when you like render a image on a lower resolution and you upscale it before you properly play it. I'm pretty confident that's using a machine learning algorithm, right? To do that. Denoising? Machine learning algorithm. I wish people spend a bit more time to actually looking into what the technology does. It's it's unfortunate that it's all just hyped out, uh, hyped out as AI because uh, there's a lot of interesting and fairly diverse technology behind it. And a lot of it is already used and is used for many years and will be used more and more. Assuming AI will not be applied almost everywhere is completely misguided. Malicious Manage, what's your take on Godot? Have you tried it? I have not tried it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I have seen a lot of people work with it. I had a friend about two or three years ago who, who spent a lot of time in Godot, was quite good at it. I was very impressive what he managed to do, and now I have also, just today, I've seen someone do some very impressive stuff uh, with Godot. I am definitely gonna play with it. I just don't quite have time for it. There's too many things I want to do. There's too many plugins and projects I want to do just with Unreal. So I am definitely gonna look into Godot. Especially if I was making a 2D game or web game. That's immediately Godot. That's not even a question. Yeah, there, there you go. Definitely looking forward to it. It looks very, very fun. Kind of like Blender was. Definitely something I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into. And definitely play with super fun but uh, there is too many interesting things that I want to play with so <laughs> when that's gonna happen I have no clue I don't think we have much more to say here uh, those were the predictions for 2024 hopefully you are not gonna take this too seriously because it's wrong but uh, yep that's about it here you got the article guys gonna properly promote this because we reacted to it and I think it's fair to, to share the source let's make sure we do that you will have a link in the description and um, that's about it have a good one